Welcome back YouTube to another video and today is part two of reading in the discord server. So this is an, uh, part two from where do I stand as a light worker? Well the universe tested me again and it wanted me to see if I still have it. Do I still have my light worker qualities? Uh, let me just read this. Um, apparently, I hurt the person who begged me for my help because of what I said in chat earlier to of this day when I first logged in. How I what I said was. how to walk your own path when the person wanted me to hold their hand. Uh, yeah, I wrote that wrong. That doesn't really make sense. Uh, it would be easier for me to tell the story from the beginning. Part 1. What did I say to offend this person? I outgrew some hard times while others never find that strength to soldier on. I cannot teach you how, nor can I help you through it. No one can walk that path but yourself. I cannot do that for you. You must learn to walk on your own path for you and not for someone else. In other words, I cannot hold your hand and babysit you. Learn to do this for you and everything will fall into place. You might not see it then, but you will see it later in life. I can't help a person crying because their parents are fighting. I do not help children. I do not have those uh, PhDs and whatever else you need. You need to learn to walk your own path, your own lessons on your own. I knew from the start the person was an energy vampire. Now I can sell the whole rant from yesterday to clear my head. I literally had to log out of my discord because a person gave me a headache asking me to please help me by making this some sort of fist face I take it that their granny used on them to calm them down because their parents were fighting and made them cry. Yeah, I totally wrote that wrong. I apologize. Since when I did not respond right away to their uh, matches, I, are you there? Hey, are you there? Are you there? Aw, I thought we could talk, cry. The person, let me back up, because they didn't tell me this when they first got into the chat. The person starts out by asking for a friend because they were bullied. They apologized if they were being annoying. So I respond with whatever I said. And they also said, I come from your YouTube. Your YouTube is very, very informative. I am looking for a friend because I am bullied. 
Right off the bat, I should have knew, known something was off. However, when I respond back, they go, "Are you there? Are you there? Are you there?" Please add me、uh, twice. They wanted me to add them, and when I didn't, they sent the the notification to me. But the story continues. After they go, after I respond back to them, then then they say, "Sorry, I was upset. Please make the space my granny used to make for me to calm me down. I am crying because my parents are fighting." That's when the headache ensued. For one, spamming "Are you there?" is no excuse. For you cannot justify that. Saying I was upset, so I am going to basically beg for your attention. It shows that you are clingy. I do not do clingy people, and it was already off to a bad start. But that's when they gave me the headache, and I had to log out. In my mind, I was like, "Okay, you could have told me everything from the very beginning, not after." And I said to myself, "Okay, you you want a friend be, from being bullied, however." You kind of misled it when you said, "Okay, I'm literally crying. Help me." And how is that wanting a friend from being bullied? Because your parents are fighting amongst themselves, not at you. Unless they did not tell me they were being bullied from their parents. However. They didn't really go into any detail from the beginning of the conversation to end, to the end. They, I felt misled, and when they said they were begging me to basically do face cam with them to make their face to calm them down, it gave me a headache. I instantly knew this person is an energy vampire. That's when I knew it. So I said,、um, "Didn't I? Well, this is kind of out of order. I apologize." Basically, like I said, I'm thinking, "Oh my God, not this type of person." No, I don't do. I do not. I cannot help anyone who is crying their eyes out. It's. I. I just. I learned my own lessons from. Ah,、uh, from deep trauma. And I had literally no one to hang on to. So my lessons were much different. I can't really explain it other than you must learn to soldier on. However, I think this person is under twenty, because when the last time I cried, because my parents were fighting, I was over. No, just recent. So yes, I was over twenty. They had a fight over something stupid. Did I cry? No. However, this happened. The last time I did cry was what under ten years old, maybe I was preteen, maybe thirteen, fourteen, under sixteen. I don't really remember, but it was, yeah. So I don't know. That's just what happened. Okay. Yeah. I said. Uh, I was thinking. Okay, let me back up. They they spammed my channel asking 
Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Spamman has not a good look. Do I really need to tell people I get to you when I get to you? Apparently, I do. See, I, I this person apologizes for the spam. I There's really no excuse for it. I would happen to be really up... Uh, how do I... Misleading me is not a good way to start the conversation either. You should have told me everything from the beginning, not after. I take that as the person lied about wanting a friend because they were being bullied. He basically came out and told the truth. You wanted a friend because your parents are fighting and made you cry. You want my help. If my YouTube gave you so much information, then use that instead of coming to me and begging for my help when I literally have no idea on how to handle a situation such as this. I cannot help children. I say children because I personally grew out of the stage of crying when my parents would yell at each other. You telling me what to do does not help either. That shows you're controlling, which I cannot stand. And in note, I will never face cam with a stranger. I refuse to do that. And in comment, Maz to a flame, be a well. Do not help those who feed off of your energy. This person would have done that to me. Lesson, do not help everyone. Anyone who begs you to be their friend is a no-go. I just, to me, I see that as very negative. I used to be that type of person. Did it help? No. It only made things much worse for me. You were more easily you are more easily to be trolled by other people and you will find more wrong people for you when you continue to beg for friends. I learned many different lessons and have come to terms with a lot of things. Clearly, this person has not learned anything and wanted me to hold their hand. In my reality, I refuse to do face cams with a stranger. I help by giving advice or showing you the answer, but you have to dig through the reading, etc. I hope that makes sense to you. Whoever is watching this and read it in my Discord, hopefully the video helps more. Um, hopefully. Even now, as a question, will I make new light worker topics? I end up doing it. So basically what happened was the universe gave me a person, tested me to see if I still had light worker qualities. Can I see through this energy vampire? For me, doing what this person wanted me to do, crying because the, the pounds made them cry because they were fighting, it tells me that, okay, a, when a child cries, it takes a lot of energy out of you to calm this person down. 
I was not about to spare my energy into this black hole of a person. I say black hole because, to me, I would constantly be feeding this person if I helped them. For me, growing up, I had zero help figuring things out for myself. I had zero help, which meant I learned. I matured more quickly. I do not know if this person is eight years old, or whatever, however old they are. If they're above twenty, then it tells me they are not mature. Holding a person's hand and helping them is not. I I can't do that. It would be a different story if I was a mother. Keyword: If I was a mother, because children you raise, it takes a lot of energy out of you to raise this person. But when you do this to a complete stranger, you are. This person is going to feed on your energy until there is nothing left, or this person will never learn the lesson they needed to learn because they begged for help and they got it. That was a two-way street. You can either help them by. Showing them the information, they have to read it themselves. Meaning, read beca- between the lines to figure out their own answer. For me, my channel is based upon. I show you things, but you have to do the work yourself. You have to walk your own path for you, and only you. Not for someone else. You can walk beside me. You can walk it with me, but I cannot walk it for you. And that is the lesson being learned here. Go on your own path. Learn the lessons you need to learn on your own. I cannot do that for you. If I helped this person, I knew. This was an energy vampire. Anyone who is crying takes a lot of energy out of you to help them. For me, when I had my lows, what happened? My guides, my angels, my guardian angel, angels. You can have more than one. They came to my aid. I. Did not ask them. They automatically came to me, tried to lift me up. However, this, since I refused to heal what they were saying, I could not do anything. They could try to help me, but when I was not doing the work myself, you were at a standstill. Then, as time went on, I learned. I not I came out of that hole I dug, and I am back to my mojo, doing light worker stuff. Again, I just needed time to refine myself. My guides were not telling me to do that. All they said was. You're going to be okay. Stop crying. But what happened? I did not listen because I couldn't at that time. <clears throat> um, read between the lines because sometimes I just I'm not clear. On the lessons, you have to read between the lines, figure things out for yourself. 
I can point you in the right direction, but if you can't see it, what's the point? Me telling you, but you're not acquiring it. No go. I bid thee farewell, and I thank you for your time. I hope to see you in the Discord server, or in this until I make another video. What is that? Okay, that keybind does not work, so that's why it didn't stop. Okay. No? Okay, I don't know the keybind. <laughs> hmm.